Okay, I'm back. We had just chained up three and now we are ready to make the arms and flesh them out along all those chain 15 spaces. I've chained three up from my slip stitch and I'm going to work one DC into the next and then two double crochet into this last one of the torso like that. Okay, now I'm ready to work along into this chain 15 space and I'm actually going to work five regular boring double crochet then I'm going to work four together and then I'm going to do five and then I'll deal with the next block of three when I get there. So remember how to hold the chain so you've got something to work against. Five double crochet, two, three, four, five. Now to work double crochets together, you yarn over and you start the stitch as normal. Everything was perfectly normal, totally fine. Stop. Don't complete the stitch. Usually we would yarn over again and pull through both loops, but we're not. Instead, start the next double crochet stitch. Yarn over and second one begins. Pull it through once and stop. Third one. And fourth one. Now we yarn over and we pull it through all the loops on the hook at once. So just check that your hook's straight. If your hook's kind of to the side, you might accidentally grab these loops. Turn your hook downwards and pull through all the stitches and give it a little squeeze. <laughs> no extra stitches necessary. Now yarn over and work five more double crochet along your chain space. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over and two double crochet into the top of the next stitch. one double crochet into the middle and then two double crochet into the next there you go. I'm just going to take my hook out for a second so we can go back and look at what we did here in the chain 15 space so this is like my little curve down so that my arms are holding hands okay that's the effect of the four together in the middle and I don't want it to be like knotted or anything but it's just going to give the effect of my little paper dolls holding hands in the center the same way it would if I cut them out and it creates a love heart shape which is nice I noticed that last night and I was very pleased about it okay so we're ready now to work into the next chain 15 space five regular boring double crochets one two three, four, five. Yarn over and here we are ready to work four double crochet together. So there's the first partial. Here's the second partial. Here's the third and ready for the fourth one. Ta-da! Yarn over, remember to turn your hook so it doesn't catch, and through all the loops. Yarn over and work five double crochet into your remaining chain space. Two. And yeah, this is all laid out in the written pattern that you can pick up at Etsy at Keep Calm and Crochets. But I think that for some things like um, working stitches together, Sometimes a video explanation is helpful if you haven't encountered this technique before. Two into the first torso double crochet. One into the next. And just keep your eye on that one. Like kind of point out to yourself, oh yes, that's the one in the middle of the, the two either side. Because that's the one that we're going to work the head into on the next round. 
So being able to find that one center double crochet is useful. If you think you're going to have trouble finding that guy again, the center with the two on the other side, feel free to put a stitch marker in it. Okay, your work, your choice. Do what works for you. Five double crochet into the chain 15 space. Two, three, four, five. They're a bit bunchy. Four work together. Partial yarn over. Number two. Number three. And number four. Done. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. Now five more. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over. Don't worry about spreading them out. Just just keep working around. <laughs> Most of the time your stitches will kind of settle and distribute themselves on the chain one into the next um, and if they don't that's a job for blocking don't fuss over them too much now okay so i've got my two one and two let's work into the next space last set of holding hands one two whoa that was not cool. Let's do that one again. Sorry, I split my yarn. Three for me. Four. Five. Now I'm ready for my four together. So yarn over. Start the first double crochet, but don't finish it. Yarn over. Start the second double crochet, but don't finish it. Yarn over. Start the third double crochet, but don't finish it. Yarn over. Start the fourth double crochet, but don't finish it. There is a reason I'm talking you through all of this because in the next round, we're going to work six triples together. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. And when we work our six triples together, the principle is exactly the same. And that's so helpful. All right, I'm back at the start, but oh dear, I only have two, one, and one. So I'm going to yarn over and work legitimate double crochet beside my cheating chain three space you'll have to wiggle the hook around a bit to get it through there perhaps okay now i can slip stitch to the top of my chain three yeah yuck i squeezed that one a bit too tight didn't i sorry people and Unfortunately, I don't want to work out of that stitch. I want to work out of the next one. So I'm going to slip stitch into the center double crochet of the five. And now I have my hook ready in that center double crochet. And I'm going to chain three, no, four. Hold on. Let me do a check. I detailed this very carefully, but now I've forgotten and I don't want to get it wrong. Chain three. One, two, three. Oh, it's an unfinished triple. Wrap the yarn twice. One, two, and work a triple crochet into the same double crochet stitch. So back in that loop. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. But now stop. Usually we'd finish a triple crochet with another yarn over and pull through two loops, but we don't because we're going to cluster the six of these together. Repeat the process. Wrap twice, work into the same double crochet stitch, yarn over and pull it through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops and stop. Keep that stitch on the hook. Repeat. Pull through two loops pull through two loops and stop. I'm up to four because I'm counting that first chain three as a triple. Got to do this two more times. Wrap through, yarn over, pull out, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. I'm up to five 
wrap twice, in you go, out you come, over, through two loops, through two loops, and now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, hooray. If your yarn is super bulky, like if you're doing this with a five or six millimeter hook, you may want to stop with five on your hook and not do the sixth. Have a look at the shape you make. Yarn over one final time, turn the hook and pull through all the stitches. Oh, there's your head. Isn't that amazing? I love this so much. Work a chain stitch and just squeeze it gently so that it keeps those stitches together. Okay, and there's the head of your little paper doll. Happy days. All right, now we are going to make, I think it's, let me just wait, read it off my pattern directly. Chain nine more stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Skip over all the arm palaver. You don't need to know about that stuff. And wrap your hook. One, two. Look for the center double crochet in that torso section. There are the two. There's two more. That's the one I want to work into. Once you've got that, you kind of set. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over. Pull through two. Stop. That's your first triple ready for its cluster of six or five if you're using super bulky yarn or if you just like the shape better. Over twice. One, two, over twice. One, two, through all the strands. Over twice. One, two, I'm up to four. One, two, up to five. Last one, one, two. Yarn over. Turn the hook, angling it down slightly, pull through all the loops. Finish with one chain stitch to hold the head in shape. Chain nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yarn over twice. Find your center double crochet. Two, two. It's that one in the middle. You may already have a stitch marker in it. You may not. Here we go. Triple, triple, yarn over twice. Triple, triple, yarn over twice. Number three. Oops, all the strands, please. Yarn over twice. Pop. Five, last one. That's six for me. Yarn over again and pull it through. Chain one to finish the head off. Chain nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, last head. This is exciting. Okay, yarn over twice. I'm just going to do this one. I'm not going to talk you through it. You're on your own. <laughs> There's the center. Yarn over, angle the hook, pull it through, chain to finish, chain nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Finish with a slip stitch. Be careful, not to this big first loop, but to this little perky one. That's the one that you cinched a little bit tighter to finish the top of the head. That's your slip stitch. Okay, so now you've got little paper dolls. I've got four so far. 
I have a feeling my child's going to claim this is some kind of friendship bracelet arrangement. And now I'm ready to think, would I like to make my border and finish off or would I like to make another stack of paper dolls? Now, if you are making a cowl, you probably want to make another whole section. And I have really good news for you. It's so easy. You just need to chain five. That's your double crochet plus two more. Wrap. And hold on a minute. This looks suspiciously like this setup down here, right? Work another double crochet into the same chain, whoops, nine space, chain two, and work a double crochet into that side, it's the left side of the head. If you work into this one, it will get a funny angle. So don't work into that big inviting one. Look for the little squishy one. You'll get a much better shape. Huh, amazing. Chain two over chain two work another dc into the same chain nine space then chain two more yarn over look for the little squishy loop and just continue around the same way and you'll notice that now we've we're starting a pattern repeat because this up here is exactly what we did down here and so the next part of the written pattern walks you through how to repeat this so that you can stack your paper dolls on the next level up. Um, I am really looking forward to seeing what different people come up with. I think it would look great if like rows of paper dolls were done in different colors. So that's maybe like a red row, then a blue row, then a purple row or something. I don't know. But I love this. I am really grateful to the person who posted in a Facebook group called Goth Alt Crafters. Uh, looking for a paper doll inspiration to support a friend of theirs who's having a tough time. And that led to me playing around with the idea of making paper dolls out of crochet, because that's what I do. And now I have these little guys. So I hope that this has been useful, that you've learned the stitches that are referred to in the pattern. My crochet stories, Keep Calm and Crochets, over on Etsy. And um, yeah, give me a shout out, message me. Let me know how you go and thank you for watching and hopefully following along.